Thanks for dropping by. So we're um, we're going to be we're going to be having a interview this evening. Um, we're going to be later on. We're going to be talking about uh, mental health and how um, art can really um, really help people to overcome mental health uh, issues. Um, and I'm going to be uh, talking about what's going to be coming up in the near uh, in the near future. Okay, so looks like I'm live everywhere, which is fantastic. Um, and we've got another special guest coming on by Zoom as well in a little bit. Um, and so uh, we'll be, she'll be entering in a little bit, hopefully. And I need to go back to Zoom. Okay, so, well, welcome to Art Antics, everybody. Thank you for um, thank you for dropping by. It is lovely to see you all. And hopefully my tech guy will come back in a minute and help me with the whole Zoom thing because I'm not amazing at that. But it looks like I've been kicked out of Zoom. Uh, so Reggie will come back in a sec and uh, and help me with all of that. So what have I been doing over the last um, year? So just wanted to give a little bit of a, a summary of the kind of things that um, I've been doing. Uh, and also at this point, I want to say, if you have any questions that you'd like to ask or you'd like to ask the panel, um, then please uh, write them in the in the chat box and somebody can let us know uh, of the questions that are out there. Um, we'd love to answer your questions. If there's a particular uh, topic, uh, that you want to um, talk about around mental health tonight um, and uh, art, then um, please, please write that in the chat box, uh, not the chat box, in the comments as well. Um, if we can send the link to Georgina, that'd be great as well. Um, so yeah, so what have I been doing recently? Well, I've been, um, I've been quite busy recently. Um, oh, we've got people coming on Zoom. Okay, we've got a uh, <laughs> I just let them in. That was a bad idea, wasn't it? Um, okay. Uh, bear with me a second. Uh, help me. This is the first time that we've done this. This is the first time that uh, our tactics has gone live with Zoom. Um, there we go. There we go. Okay. So we've got quite a few people as well in the Zoom room tonight. Um, so potentially they'll also be contributing to this discussion. Um, We've got our panelists and our guests that uh, we're going to be um, having this discussion with. So, yeah, I've been really busy over the last year. Um, and so actually, um, it was during the coronavirus season that my art business kind of really kicked off. Um, and um, I remember just before coronavirus, I, um, I did a, a live painting session which was spearheaded by my husband. He was like, Angela, I know you're not painted for ages, but in four days, will you paint live? And I was like, oh my goodness, that's scary. Um, Cause I hadn't done it for years. Um, and then I did it in, in that evening, God gave me a picture and it was so much fun. And I remember my friend saying to me, just play with God, just kind of play with it. Don't stress about it, but just enjoy it. And I did. And it was it was awesome. It was such an amazing experience. And from there, um, I just decided to start um, painting live, and I just started to um, kick uh, kickstart the business really. Because um, just before we went into that lockdown, I actually sold two paintings. So I knew that it was time to kind of kickstart the business. So I set it up officially and everything. Uh, I had a website. Um, I will have a website again. In fact. Uh, the uh, the website is going to be revealed at an art launch um, that we're going to run um, around my birthday time in August, and the date will be out for that um, really soon. So I did a, a trilogy. I did a, a, a yellow painting trilogy. Um, the first one was very clearly um, kind of like coronavirus kind of balls, but turned into treasure, um, and with. Um, what I would call like the Holy Spirit kind of blowing on um, on the balls to kind of turn them into treasure and to blow the cobwebs away. Uh, the second was of a lion and it was called the lion and the lamb. 
and the lion was uh, crunching the coronavirus um, to bits. And then the third one was one I did on a prophetic art evening uh, in February <clears throat> that was um, a bee eater. Um, that I, I woke up with the picture of a bee eater. Um, so I did them. Uh, and then um, going back to last year, I said I did a whole um, brand new collection of Christmas that a lot of you bought, which is amazing. Um, they are still available. So if you do want to order them, um, do let me know. And you can go on my um, Etsy, uh, which I'll put the link in um, uh, on my page, on my art page, which I hope we are live on my art page. I'm pretty sure we are, not on Angela, but yeah, good. Um, and I need to, if, I probably need to put it on my Angela page as well, if anybody can do that. Um, so I did a Christmas collection. Uh, and then most recently, I have been um, working on a social justice piece, um, and that's for a, uh, a magazine called G-Zine, I think, and it's coming out um, in June or July. <clears throat> so that's really exciting. Um, and that's the first of my social action pieces. And it's, um, and it's, a, uh, it's basically a little child soldier and um he's very young actually he's um he's probably like five or six or less um and actually as i was researching for these um for this painting i it was just absolutely heartbreaking um of looking at these little children um some of them like i said four years old holding guns um, thinking that they're playing toy soldiers, but actually they're being manipulated and um, turned into uh, little um, little soldiers, but like actually ones that um, you know real soldiers. So absolutely um, heartbreaking. And I have to say, there were times when I like cried as I was um, as I was painting it. It, it was incredibly incredibly emotional um so so yeah so i've been doing that and that's the first piece and i'm hoping at some point in the near future um to maybe have a, a lot like a series of them and to um to have an exhibition and to maybe work alongside um charities um <clears throat> so uh, we can raise awareness of uh of this whole um, child soldiers and, and just children being like absolutely um, exploited for, um, you know, this like military um, gains. It's just, uh, it's just absolutely terrible. Oh, I'm just gonna mute people. Good evening, Sonia. We'll, um, so Sonia has just come on and she's gonna be one of our guests this evening because she's actually an artist. Um, and uh, we've got a writer who's uh, coming on and, you know, thankfully these people are all my friends. Um, <laughs> uh, we have lots of people with devices here as well. So um, I'm gonna ask um, one of my uh, assistants to share this on my page, on my personal page. So I'll give you my Kindle if you can work out how to share it on my page. Um, yeah, so might go just to the Facebook just so I can check kind of like what's going on on there. Um, so we've got a few people watching, which is great. And I can't see if there's any comments. Uh, if anybody can tell me there's comments, that'd be great because I can't work that out for now. Um, no, nope. not at the moment. Okay, great. Um, yeah, so I've, um, where was I up to? Yeah, so the Child Soldier um, Project, um, which, yeah, like I said, was heartbreaking, hoping to do a series of them and actually want to be known and want to uh, really do um, a lot of work around social justice. So um, looking into kind of like doing ones around racism, a one around child soldiers, around um, uh, children that are in kind of like sweatshops in like Bangladesh and India, children that are in um, well, little brick children who get an absolute pittance. Um, and just as an artist, I, I wanna um, use my gift, if you like, um, just to um, 
to make a to make a difference and to to uh, to bring some of these issues to the forefront um, and make people to be aware of them. Um, so one that I, I want to bring to your attention is um, okay, I'm getting people uh, <coughs> one that I want to bring to your attention is um, Colbat. So Colbat is the, uh, the, the the metal that we find in a lot of our phones. Um, and with the rise of electric cars, electric cars are made of coal bats. So just hi to my Instagram followers. Thank you for joining. Um, so it's made, uh, electric cars are basically uh, made of coal bat and they need a lot of coal bat to, uh, to power these electric cars. Um, and so it's little children, it's little African children um, who are mining this coal bat. And it's so horrific um, that it, um, it turns their eyes red. The chemicals um, in the, in the coal bat um, can turn the children's eyes red. So it's really horrific. And I want to raise the, the point and within, within my art um, that, you know, sometimes our consumer lifestyle and our consumer, you know what, I'm going to do, do a live about this whole thing of social justice. And I know my friend Winnie, is um is watching tonight and that uh, she is a trailblazer for social justice so maybe we can collaborate Winnie and do a, a live around the whole thing of social justice because I know it's something that really close to your heart and I, I know I've got I'll have some other friends as well that we can have on for that um but anyway just to um yeah this that our consumer lifestyle very often uh, can really um dint the lives of other people um, and dare I say, even kill the lives of other people and certainly take um, value and, um, and stuff away from them because a lot of them don't get paid the right amount. And so if you are buying something for five pounds that is worth a lot more then actually somebody else somewhere is paying for you to have a nice thing. I think I, right, okay, sorry, I'm being spoken to. So I'm just gonna check what, I'm being told, um, bear with me a second. I've got lots of messages. Um, so, okay, I need to turn the comments on apparently. <laughs> There's some oh, oh, comments are on apparently, but I can't see them. Uh, There's this, comments on Facebook. Right, I can't see them. So if guys, if you see the comments and there's a, a yep. question, please tell me so I can answer it. Oh, it says hi from people on Facebook. Okay, it's just showing me um, your watch list. I don't want my watch list. I want you. Yeah, well, maybe Reggie can come and fix it in a minute. Oh, there we go. Oh, help! There we go. I've turned my sound off. Uh, so hopefully you can still hear me. Can everybody still hear me? Yeah, yeah great. Um, all right. Uh, yeah, so David Penton. Oh my goodness, so good to see you, Dave. I'm really looking forward to our night of all things art. Uh, Franz, lovely to see you all. Um, all right, so should we um, have our first guest, unless anybody wants to ask me anything um, about, if anybody wants to ask me anything about what I've been doing so far or anything that I'm planning to do. Um, obviously, I'm going to tell you a lot about that um, after I've had the guests on. Are you ready? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So the, my first guest um, is the amazing Garth Williams. So um, I don't know how many people, I don't know how many people know Garth, um, but uh, we have the pleasure of having Garth in our um, in our house uh, this weekend, uh, and we've had we've had a riot, haven't we? We've had such a good time. Yeah. Um, it's just been amazing. Okay. So we can't actually see you, Garth. <laughs> So we can see you on Instagram, which is fabulous, but um, let's just make sure that we can see you on here. Oh, okay, there you go. Right, so if you move a little bit closer to me. We're sorry, we don't have the six, uh, the six feet distance. Of, no, is it? Has it stopped? Okay, so if you've all shared it, if you can turn your phones, you, yeah, you don't need to necessarily be on on, I think, your gadgets, if you've already shared it, I think. You can leave the, 
don't leave the watch, keep the watch party running, but um, you can like come off it so that it's not, if you, yeah. Yeah. Because you can see it live, right, Richard? I'm here. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. Oh, right. So actually, let's, I'm going to move across here a little bit. Let's say hi to Instagram as well. Hi, Instagram. All right. So, oh, you need to move a little bit closer to me. So, like I said, no more, no two meters distance today. I've really uh, broken it since uh, since that time. So I met Garth. Oh my goodness, uh, eighteen months ago. I mean, not met. When I say met, I think we met online, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so Garth kind of got involved in what we're doing with our charity, um, which is awesome. If you want to check out that, it's Hope Release Ministries. That's the other hat that um, we wear. Um, and he found out I was an artist and he was really excited about it. And we talked about lots of collaborations and, and stuff like that. Um, but this evening, um, Garth has an incredible story that um, I don't think he's going to tell all of it tonight, are you? But you can. No. Uh, but um, And actually, you will be able to hear about that on Stories of Hope on the Hope Release Ministries channel um, at the end of the month. But... Um, so let's open our um, our discussion ab about mental health, um, because at the end of the day, uh, mental health, um, you know, we all have mental health, don't we? And, um, you know, we, we some of us struggle with it more than others. Um, you know, things come, al come along in life and they really can knock you for six. Um, and, and, you know, stuff maybe happens in our childhood or it, it's just, you know, men mental health struggles can happen to absolutely everybody. Um, myself um, back in September um, I was given a health diagnosis that was really a curveball I was really not expecting it and um, it took me really um, into a very a difficult place and actually even when I was getting married as well but but this this was like no other it was just a sense of a black hole um, that I didn't feel like I could, I could come out of and thankfully for me it didn't last um, too long but I I know what it is to feel in a very, very um, dark and um, and really difficult place, and to just not know the way forward. Um, so um, it really, it did really affect me this this diagnosis. Um, <coughs> um, so so yeah, and and you know we we so we either have struggled with it ourselves, and I think you know especially through coronavirus, a lot of us have struggled more so maybe than we would have done. Um, because, you know, the coronavirus came and it knocked all of us for six. Again, we were not expecting it. And, you know, a lot of us have been uh, locked up <laughs> uh, almost um, entirely, not been able to go out. And so all of these things can can affect our the, um, the state of our mental health. Um, but I believe that there is hope. I believe that, um, so obviously, you know, lay my cards on the table. I don't like that sort of expression be honest i'm a christian so for me um you know um my faith my relationship with god is a very big part of my dealing with um with any kind of like mental health struggles or or worries or anxieties um but tonight we are talking about how art can help those things so go um i know you want to share your poem with us because i i can see you like getting it ready and um so um, Gav, have you ever struggled with your mental health? Yes, I have. I have disabilities, cerebral palsy, dyspraxia and dyslexia. Um, through school and through college, I have always been bullied. One particular time for me stood out for me three or four or five years ago. So you get on the tram or you get on the bus with a lot of the school kids and you've got people who are threatening to cause you damage. Literally, I've sat on the bus, people are throwing apples at me, tomatoes, cans of coke at me, newspapers at me, and I'm thinking, for goodness sake, leave me alone. I'm normal like everyone else. And I've gone to the driver and there's no help. So I attempt, I thought about suicide. I thought about self-harming. Then, I went to the job centre the next day. The job centre put me in touch with a group of people called Break for UK. And then the week I got on North Manchester Radio FM. <laughs> so I knew I was talented. 
and I knew my talent had to be success. I knew my talent was going to be successful. Amazing, amazing. Okay, so um, what was yeah? So what sort of things were you doing um on uh with the breakthrough? Breakthrough is a charity which helps disabled people of any disability whatsoever to over, to overcome their disability. Breakthrough is a charity of hope who helps anyone with disability, physical and mental disability. So I've always worked with them doing charity fundraisers because I do wow. charity fundraisers. Which we'll come to in a bit. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay. And so in terms of creative, so when I talk about arts, obviously um, we are, a we, <laughs> me, <laughs> I am a, uh, a painter, artist, um, I've been um, uh, yeah, like a, a, an artist in the sense of a painter. Uh, not, I haven't been a painter my whole life, um, but I have um, have obviously done um, some kind of art, whether it's drawing, whether it's collage, like all sorts of things, really. Um, sorry to steal um, uh, gas thunder, um, but I want to just clarify that when we're talking about art tonight, we're not just talking about um, Art is in painting, although I will, we will talk about that. But we're talking about the creative arts because actually um, the creative arts spans a whole whole wide spectrum. And, you know, whether it's dance, drama, writing, painting, um, you know, all these things can help. So what kind of creative arts were you doing with Breakthrough? Um, I was doing drama. I was doing music. It also got me in Breakthrough's newsletter many other people's newsletters wow wow see our, our girl's a bit famous he seems to get himself into these amazing like places and uh you know we're hoping that he takes his friends there yeah <laughs> don't worry <laughs> tell me when and <laughs> tell me when and when you're free um uh okay so um yeah so so was it poetry with um no. with breakthrough no it was it was um i done a dj cut djing course with manchester um north manchester fm radio so i taught and i radio so called different abilities right. i've still got the same cd so when i'm bored i listen to that i listen to myself and i think to myself wow is that you because <laughs> i don't i think to myself i'm different from when i was on the radio i was very shy I'm not so shy now. No, not at all. There you are on Facebook Live. Not shy yeah. at all. Um, okay, so it was deep. Was it DJing then mainly? I was doing helping to produce a radio show wow. for people who have disabilities and trying to say that no matter what your disability, you can do whatever you want. So have you found then, um, apart from people bullying you, have you found that there are times when your disability has affected your mental health? Yeah. <laughs> in, in what, in, yeah, tell us a bit because of my disabilities, I felt like I didn't want to live because I felt like as I was treated different. Mm -hmm. But in actual fact, you're a very gifted young man, aren't you? Yeah. And uh, like, you know, I, I want to say to everybody out there, we're all we're all gifted in in different ways. We've all, um, <clears throat> you know, uh, we've all been given um, gifts and talents. And you might not know your gift of talent tonight, but um, the more that you explore and the more that you ask questions. Um, the more you'll realize and you'll find out that you know you're, you're gifted and you're talented just because you know <clears throat> like i said i'm a christian so i just believe that god has given us all gifts and talents um and you know it's important that we use them uh, not just for um other people but actually for our own well-being and our own mental health um <clears throat> okay so obviously you've got a poem that you want to read to us yeah i feel like uh, the whole interview tonight could just be me and you but we've got other people yeah <laughs> we've, got, we've got people waiting in uh, <coughs> in the zoom room <clears throat> to uh to talk to us um so um yeah so tell us how um so tell us all the different creative arts that you are involved in wow where do I start? <laughs> so I used to be part of something called Hume is where the art is. Wow. Where I, Hume Park in Manchester, where I yam, where me and a lot of people yam bombed Hume Park, Hume Park with finger knitting. Oh, wow. 
same with winter with the winter festival in Hume. We've done that. We've done a lot of stuff. So I've always loved finger knitting. I've always loved art. Yeah. I found that that wasn't what I was good at. I found out music what was I good at because I noticed whenever I do it, people always start crying and smiling. Okay, <clears throat> that's great. Um, so oh, sorry, carry on. Basically, I through a friend of mine that said to me, you know what? You are so talented. You need you to say some recognition. <laughs> and then they said to me, Manchester International Festival is coming up in Manchester this year from <laughs> July. I thought, what's that? Every year it keep on being cancelled. And they said to me, I was to put my name forward. So there I am in this book, which will be available for sale. This is recent, isn't it? Yeah. So you mentioned, so did you ever do any kind of like painting and stuff like that? I tried to do it as a child, but I wasn't that good at painting. I was better at finger knitting. But have you done any like whilst you've been an adult? Has it, did no. It, no, okay. Um, but you but you do write and so well I don't do. I just wrote a story and they said they were going to turn it into a poem. Well, I'm not sure who Soul King is. Maybe if you tell me who you are, um, maybe you can be on the next one. Um, but nice. Thank you for uh, thank you for dropping by. Um, okay, so uh, let's hear your poem. Yeah. So, bit of a background before I say my still poem, me have a lot of disabilities, so it's going to say some of the things about that. The poem is called Mr. Hot 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 because somebody gave me that nickname in the karaoke bar, a karaoke bar come free in a karaoke bar in Manchester. Right. Because I realised I love that song feeling hot, hot, hot from the arrow. <laughs> so they said I that's what they that's what they gave me the nickname and it's always stuck by me. So here is Mr. Hot Hot Hot. And as I said, you can get this and a lot of other poems in a book from Manchester Library from the start of July. So Mr. Hot, Hot, Hot. Before I, before I took to the stage, before I discovered how much I love singing, I faced barrier after barrier. The, the doctors said I wouldn't make it to my sixth birthday. I thought I wasn't good enough. I had no confidence. I always loved music and enjoyed dancing to it. My mum used to blast out reggae songs like by Bob Marley, like One Love and So Rebel, and I would sing along. The first time I ever performed at the karaoke bar arena, it was seeing how much people were enjoying themselves. I can make people boogie, I thought. It makes me feel like a superstar. So here I am, I'm a superstar. Like I am singing to thousands of people in Patuina. It changes everything. There I found my people. Mark, John, Abby, Britt and Casey. And I can add Angie and Wedgie to this list. <laughs> Even though the name's not in the poem, but I will add them because it's all about these two. Yeah, I'm not done yet. So I have, I love practicing with my vocal coach. He always supports me. It makes me cry when he tells me I'm talented. That I'm worth it, that I deserve it, because I never thought I was worth it. Through singing, I won't let anything stop me. My favourites are the songs of Jimmy Cliff and Harry Belfonte. Someone told me that hearing me sing, watching perform, um, flinking my wigs at the audience, ha 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 ha, spreading the <laughs> wings of joy, makes them, makes them want to live life. Insp I inspired them. I am creating a talent night for people like me. I want to help pe people develop their confidence and their talent night. I will tell them, open your mouth, let it out. So if you've got a talent, creative, whatever, let your talent go. Absolutely. So this is my last bit. Ignore people when they say you can't do it. I am waiting to be found discovered, recognised. I want to thank the artist singing for finding me. Wow, amazing. And that's going to be in a book, isn't it? Yep, it's going to be in a book from the 1st of July to the 16th of July. 
July at Manchester um, Central Library. So if you're there, if you come, I will sign your copy of your book <laughs> for you. I will autograph it for you. Wow. And we will see if we can get it discounted as well. Wow, amazing. Wow, God. So a couple more questions. Um, so how has being involved, well, first in the production of the radio show, then the DJing, um, you singing, writing, even finger knitting, how have these things improved and helped you um, in um, when you've had mental health struggles or, um, or just generally in your mental health? Told me that I can do anything if I put my mind to it because my family never supported me. Wow. So yeah. I've always tried to prove to them that I'm good enough, yeah. which I know I'm good enough. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, yes, you you are good enough out there. Just want to sell you, you are good enough. You are gifted. No matter what people have told you, you are gifted, you are talented. Um, there are things that you can do. Even if you've not found it yet, there are definitely things that you can do. And I want to say there are definitely creative things um, that you are able to do, uh, because I believe we all have, you know, you might you might not feel like you can paint, but I, I, do, I know actually, well, I don't know if we're going to, but anyway, um, I just want to say just because you don't feel like you're an amazing painter and you're never going to turn it into a business, it doesn't mean that something like painting could not improve um, well, actually, we're going to talk to a painter soon, but um, you know, I believe that can help your your mental health as well. Um, so, uh, but um, we're going to talk a little bit more about that. I think with Sonia, so I'm hoping that Sonia's in the uh, in the wings, ready to have a bit of a discussion in a bit. Yeah, she's waving at me, so that's great. Uh, so we'll have Sonia next after um, after Gav. However, just want to ask you one more question because we are involved in something called. Um, talent night so tell us tell us a little bit about um about talent night well talent night what's that for me that well you guys watch x factor <laughs> i suppose you guys have watched the x factor I, I suppose you guys have watched the voice i suppose you guys have watched britain's got talent me as a disabled person has gone for that and i've been told by a judge that i'm not good enough because I sang Amazing Grace. Mm. They said to me, I use an atheist and he didn't want to hear Amazing Grace. So you know what? I thought I have to do something to help people who have a disability. I don't have a disability. It can be physical or mental. And all I want to do is inspire people. Our slogan is, you can get it if you really want it. Wow. Well, I don't know if you call it slogan, but that's the thing what inspires us. That's our tagline at Talent Night. You can get it if you really want it from that song from Jimmy Cliff. I know I'm not going to sing it. Like <laughs> pe people normally ask me to sing a bit, but I'm not going to. All I'm saying is you can get whatever it is. One for your talent, one for your talent and use your talent. And I hope to see you guys, yeah, watching these online events. Yeah. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your questions. Yeah, no. Um, hi, Miriam. Good evening. And, and hi, Willie, as well. Um, so where can people find you, um, Garth? And um, where can they find Talent Night? They can find me on Facebook <laughs> under Garth Williams. And what about Talent Night? On, there is a page on Facebook called Talent Night. Yeah. Or there's, there's a web page, which is www talent night.co.uk brilliant brilliant yeah and so lots anybody can get involved in talent night can't yeah. they all we ask is show your talent if yeah. it if it's art bring it the thing what i'm particularly looking for is people who can tell jokes all right everyone so. keep on saying we come to your events time after time you never had a joker no one who can tell jokes now I can tell jokes, but my jokes won't make you guys laugh. <laughs> I beg to differ. I bet I bet they will. We'll have to we'll have to try that later on. We'll have to uh, try that one out later on yeah. and see whether we uh, we laugh at your jokes. Yeah. Um, <laughs> As I said, thank you for having me on, Angela. It's a real pleasure. Uh, well, I'm sure we'll have you back, Garth. For yeah. under a, under a different subject for sure. Um, but uh, thank you so much, uh, Garth, for sharing sharing your story with it with us you are an absolute inspiration yeah okay so now i need to work out how to um 
So you can stay sat there if you want, but we're going to have um, Sonia. So I'm, I'm sorry, I'm just trying to work out how to uh, have you side by side. So bear with me a second. And unfortunately, Instagram, um, you will have to, uh, you'll be able to hear Sonia's voice. So my tech person is on his way to sort things out. Yeah. <laughs> sorry about this. This is, uh, okay. You can't really look at it, but you, you, then you see everyone. Oh, um, is there any way of? No. Oh, okay. Um, there we okay. go. Okay. So, so you, you can do it like that. Okay, so you'll be able to, mm -hmm. no, so let's just have Sonia. Okay, so um, so obviously everybody can hear me. Um, and, and then, uh, so Sonia, would you like to, um, yeah, okay, you would mute <laughs> Right. Well, it's lovely to see you. Thank you so much for uh, for joining us this evening. Um, how long have we known each other, Sonia? It's about a year? Yeah, it's, it's flown by, but yeah, it's about a year now. <laughs> yeah. um, so, uh, so Sonia is part of something else that we do um, on uh, on the other, on our other thing of, of Hope Release Ministries. And uh, it's a pleasure to have her with us. She's a very talented lady. Um, so, okay, so I suppose I'm going to ask you, Sonia, a similar sort of question. So obviously you've been listening to the last interview, haven't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of think the, the questions that I'm going to, that I'm going to ask. Um, so, um, Sonia, have you ever struggled with your, with your mental health? Uh, yeah, especially since lockdown. Um, and especially since uh, the, the second, second lockdown. Uh, I'm sure many other people have struggled with the sense of sort of, you know, isolation and the restrictions of what used to make life normal. You know, yeah. suddenly it, it just it just shut down. And uh, although I know I'm not alone, it sometimes it's uh, it has felt very it, it is very isolating. And sometimes I just found it a strain. Yeah. yeah. Uh, not to be able to do life as I used to. Yeah, yeah, uh, I, I agree. It's been it's been tough for all of us, hasn't it? It's been a very a very difficult. And and am I right in thinking that you live on your own, Sonia? I do. Yeah. yeah. So um, no, for myself, I um, you know, obviously I'm married, so I've kind of got the that person there. But I imagine it can be very it can be very difficult and very um, yeah very trying when you when you're on your own and stuff. So um, you paint, don't you? Uh, I do. You do, yeah. Um, so I've actually recently, um, so for those on Instagram who, who sadly can't see Sonia um, because she's on my screen, um, but uh, I had Sonia on my uh, on my Instagram wall a, a few weeks ago, um, and I think she got a, a, quite a bit of a attention, which is great, which is the whole point of putting um, my artist friends. And I'm very blessed to have so many artist friends in my life. So Sonia, tell me how um, how has uh, painting kind of helped you in this you know this time of of um, when you have struggled with your mental health a little bit? How has painting helped? I don't know how what I would have done without it, to be honest. Wow. Uh, because it art has its therapeutic value as well, uh, and just being able to sort of you know sit down and just do something. Um, it's for me. It's just a great way, to, great great way to relax and occupy, you know, my mind. Um, yeah. Really. So I'm glad I had that, uh, you know, and sort of do creative, creative things. Otherwise, I don't know what I would have done. Um, right. So like, you know, a, a, go on. It's but yeah, they say art is therapy, and it's very true, you know, as well as a, you know, a means to sort of create. Exactly. Exactly. And. What would you say to people who say, oh, I'm not very good at art. Oh, it's a bit rubbish what I create. Remember, um, I don't know if you saw, but Garth was like, oh, no, I didn't carry on because I wasn't very good. What would you say to people who who maybe don't think they're very good or? Um, that's the whole point. The, the, if they, the, the whole point is to start and try and have a go. Um, if, you, if I showed you some of my stuff where I, where I began, you, you probably, you know, I, you know, I laugh looking back at it now, but the point was I began, uh, you know, and uh, it, you know, and it just, it just, it's just taken practice. 
you know to build up that that skill uh, and i think it's um, it's a misnomer it's a, it's a misnomer actually people think that they can't draw well the truth mm -hmm. is they're not being taught how to see uh, you know but that uh, and that is the crux or you know of, of good or, or if you can learn how to see then the rest of it comes you know you know quite naturally yeah. you just have to change your mindset and the way you look at things that's very good very good like yeah sometimes our perception can kind of um warp things can't it we can think we're seeing something when actually something else um is there and that's a whole other talk for another day isn't it <laughs> and perception yeah, it is, it is. <laughs> stuff like that um so obviously you're an artist and you want to um do it professionally um but what about for those people who you know are never going to be a Rembrandt or they're never going to um, sell their art? But how can how can it help their mental health? Do you think it's it's just a way of getting in touch with yourself, mm -hmm. um, and it doesn't necessarily have to be painting. It can be clay, um, you know. It can be messy. You can you know if you really want to, you can do finger painting. Um, you know, it, it's it's just a way to explore. Mm -hmm. um, it's just the process of exploring can be very healing. True. You know, as you know, you know, as you know, as well. It doesn't matter if you're not if you're not Rembrandt. Art has got many forms of expression. Uh, it doesn't have to be the you know the formal stylized way of you know of doing things. It can be whatever you want, and there's no right or wrong. No, it's good. It's good. Um, yeah, and I think you know coming to think of it i think sometimes when you is your business and you know you've got that commission in or you've got um that next thing to do and it needs to be good it needs to be right uh, because someone's buying it sometimes that can put more pressure on and, and it can be uh even more difficult sort of thing whereas if you're in a place where you can just use it to play with um there's just something and i think i I miss the times when I can just literally just kind of like, you know, like say dabble and uh, and just play and stuff because yeah, playing is, is therapeutic, isn't it? So tell us yeah. what are the kind of things that you've been producing uh, during lockdown? Uh, well, I did uh, a course run by a local art charity and I, was, and I, um, and I had a go at making some of my own jewelry. Oh, wow. Um, you know, which, um, I've, I've still got I've still I've, got, I've yet to get it baked <laughs> but uh yeah I had to go at producing you know some some of my own own jewelry um you know I've, I've sort of had to go at, you know doing art for other people uh, not professionally you know but um yeah it's it's just uh, in, and and exploring different kinds of you know creativity really. yeah so do you need to put the jewellery in, in, in a uh, in a kiln then, do you? To, uh... I do. Yeah, I, I do. The, I could try put it in my own oven, but it's not recommended I do that. <laughs> see, I was thinking, why don't you put it in your own oven? But yeah, it's probably not probably not a good idea. Um, <laughs> so have you got access to a kiln? Do you know anyone who's got one? Uh, yeah, I'm going to phone up. Uh, you know, you know, tomorrow uh, things have just got a bit lost in translation with the, with the organization that I was working with because people kept leaving, um, you know, right. And so there was there was no there's nobody I could communicate with. But I'm going to I'm going to chase that up this week and see if I can get something moving. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Um, OK, so what would you say? What is your advice then to people um, if. Uh, to, to have to start like how how do people start just pick up a pencil you know just you know you know you know, you know just start it depends on what they actually want to do if they want to just e explore then you know they just pick up a pen pencil uh clay paint whatever is they want to do and just you know and just have a go uh yeah. and see you know and see where it, and see where it you know see where it takes them uh, if they want to sort of learn drawing skills, then the good way to start doing that is actually uh, is, is to learn, you know, how an artist actually looks at, at something. Mm. 
I don't know how your brain, you know, perceives it. So there's, uh, but as, as far as just exploring it, you know, just pick a paintbrush, just go for it. Yeah, just just play, isn't it? Just have a play, and and not really care necessarily all the time what it looks like because sometimes yeah. it's just you downloading your emotions and how you're feeling onto a canvas or a piece of cardboard. Did um, was the, did you ever produce anything during lockdown that was a bit like that? That was like, well, I'm never going to show that to anyone, or like kind of almost like a how do you say like an expression of like how you're feeling but this wasn't because I know that you do a lot of birds um because I've seen a lot of your your birds on on, on the, the things that you sent me that I put on Instagram but did you ever do a piece that you were like okay it's kind of looks like a splodge but um but it, I feel better <laughs> actually a lot of my early birds look like that you know to begin with <laughs> <laughs> You know, and uh, actually, so did my horses. You know, as you know, uh, as you know, as well. You know, <laughs> they all look like splodges. You know, to start, you know, to start with. But uh, but but lockdown has really been sort of about practice, and you know, and and improving. You know, you know, really. And how did it feel? So when you you know first started to do to do it to be creative, how did it how did it make you feel? um it well actually it it made me feel better because actually i sort of changed the perception of what uh, i actually did you know when when it, when I, when i started producing stuff that actually um i found my own style you know the way you know way of doing things uh and that made me feel okay this is all right this is who i am this is what i do um you know and it, it started to make me feel better as an artist really uh, and actually starts calling myself an artist. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it can feel quite a responsibility, can't it, to actually call yourself an artist? Because I've, you know, there's many times that I think, you know, lots of people who, who do do art, even if they're doing it as a business, can often feel, oh my goodness, to call, to call myself an artist, am I, am I really an artist? Am I actually any good? Um, and um, sometimes you just need someone to say, no, actually keep, keep going. But I think the point of this evening is to say that, hey, even if you don't have the most amazing art skills, you can still use it as a therapy. You can still use it as, a, as an outlet and you can let that inner child out and, and just. Yeah, absolutely. Like, yeah. Yeah. No, just, just have fun with it. Exactly. Exactly. And, you know, some of us will go on to it for it to be a business and for it to be um you know, bring an income. And for others, it'll it'll be a hobby, but it'll be something that will um, really help us to just process uh, what we're feeling. Um, have you ever used it in that way, Sonia, to process how you're feeling or? Um... Um, not, not so much. Um, I tend to use poetry for that. Ah, okay. Tell, tell us about that um well it's just it was really it was it's it, because being being a christian as well i sort of tend, tended to sort of uh use it uh you know for you know for christian themes or or the other day i just used it to, to i just used it purely as therapy to get some emotion out um uh, you know of, you know of how i really felt wow wow uh, you. you know but um uh, yeah, I've been, I've been doing that um, a little a little while, and um, I belong to uh, another you know another group that are, are Christians, and I shared some of it you know with them. Right. Wow. Okay. So poetry as well. So obviously that can again help you to process how you're feeling and, and, and definitely, yeah, definitely. Fantastic. Well, Sonia, I'm sure we'll have you on again. Um, and we'll be showing people a bit more of your art. Um, another time, I'll be having a, another discussion with uh, with you. But uh, thank you so much for joining us um, this evening. I've got a couple of other people. Thank you. Mm -hmm. In the wings, kind of waiting to. Uh, okay, uh, I have to do this. <laughs> um, waiting to be. Um, no, not, not renamed, replace pin. There we go. There I am. All right. Thank you, Sonia. Um, okay.
Lovely to have you on. Okay, so um, are we going to have Richard or Reggie? Um, okay. All right, so this is my guest, uh, Richard, again. Richard is staying with us um, for the weekend. Um, so, Richard, um, similar questions, really. Yeah. Have you ever struggled with uh, with your mental health? Yeah, I, uh, when I was about 14, 15 year old, I started with uh, depression and anxiety. And then as in later life, I developed schizophrenia. So, yes. Yeah. And um, how has art helped you um, in those times? Like in the past, but also... Um, I did now. a bit of poetry when I was at school. Uh, I have done artwork before that was featured in our exhibition, believe it or not. Oh! Yes, once, yeah, Home Firth Heart Exhibition. This was, uh, I think, I in my late teens or early 20s. I remember, but now it's it's more music uh, with me that makes me come alive. It's my sort of therapy of dealing with mental health. And uh, uh, I also like... Uh, this is a follow out artwork, but I'm friends with quite a few tattooists. So. Oh, yes. Okay. So yeah, uh, yeah, I've got two sleeves, but yeah, I like, I like, I do like artwork, uh, especially photorealism. Yeah. Photorealism. Tell us about that. Photorealism. Mm -hmm. I'd have to show me how, but I'm not going to do that. Oh, uh, it's... so photorealism has to do with tattooing? Not that in general, but photorealism tattoos. Yeah. Oh, I'm learning something new tonight. I, I, I'll, I'll have to. I'll have to look into that. I probably won't ever. I have a tattoo actually. Yeah, you've told me. Yeah, but I uh, probably won't ever have a photorealism tattoo. I think my husband would uh, not be very happy <laughs> if I got sleeves. Um, and yeah, probably probably not my uh, my my deal. But um, so what kind of like art did you do? What kind of paintings and stuff did you do? I the. The painting I did actually was actually a pencil drawing of a Persian cat. I had a Persian cat, and at the time, Steffi uh, Graf had just won Wimbledon. Oh, wow. So we had this Little Persian ago, kitten then. so a long time ago, yeah. <laughs> so I had a Persian kitten, and I named her Steffi because I really liked <laughs> Steffi Graf at the time. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, and uh, I did a, a pencil drawing of a Persian cat, and it was featured in the Home for a Fire exhibition. As part Ow. of a mental health, mental health like uh, therapy group that were running at the time in Huddersfield. So, yes. So it's not that long ago then. Were you, were you an adult when this happened? Yes. Oh wow. Okay. Wow. So do you know what? I didn't actually realise that that Richard was an actual like proper artist, but it turns out that he's an actual like a long time ago. Artist. I did once. Yeah. So that I means you could once. probably do it again. Probably. Have you ever, so when we're talking with Sonia about the idea of kind of like, just kind of almost like dabbling and playing, have you ever used art in that way to, uh, to kind of like um, help you to, to combat mental health? Or? Mainly music, yeah, oh, okay. to be honest. Uh, obviously I'm a Christian just like yourself and I do like Christian music, but there's also uh, across a lot of, genres different genres uh i like with music can i use that as therapy oh, okay. uh, i used to be part of a network uh run by a guy called peter bullymore who runs hearing voices network in sheffield okay and he's a guy that goes around and lectures to psychiatrists on schizophrenia and i, I got involved with him so that that was very good i I've actually met him Travels the world and things like that and support you and so wow. yeah so is that playing music or listening to it or more listening to it okay. i am not I, I i've always wanted to be a musical concert but i'm not so. but yeah mainly listening yeah different music yeah and then you did a bit of poetry i've done a bit of poetry yeah that that was a long time ago i won a poetry competition at school yeah oh as well wow Yes. But you don't do it anymore. No, I haven't done it in so, a long time. Well, how do but how do you think it could um it could improve a person's mental health, like art and poetry and stuff like that? It's a way of expressing yourself. I mean, if you if you look at was it Van Gogh that had his ear cut off? And uh, <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, he, he uh, allegedly had schizophrenia himself, so I suppose it'd have been a way for him to express himself through his artwork. And uh, but music and art, yeah, definitely. I mean, I know a lot of people with a variety of mental health illnesses that have really been helped by different sort of therapies, whether it's uh, whether it's music, uh, whether it's film, whether it's dance. Uh, I do intend on uh, doing dance, uh, street dance oh, aerobics. Yeah, of course, I remember that, yeah. Yes, I've got a friend who used to be a professional dancer, so wow. to lose weight and get fit, yeah. Good on you, good on you. Um, well, I, I hope that in the future we might be seeing some more pencil drawings. Yes, definitely. Um, yeah, well, it's been a while, but uh, yeah, you know, I could bring it out again. Maybe dabble with a, with a few paints. Yes. I think what we've talked about, especially with Sonia, is that it doesn't have to be like, a, you know, Van Gogh or no, um, no, no, no. it's just about using it to kind of express, express yourself. Um, do you have any advice for people out there who do struggle with their mental health? With mental health? Yeah. Don't give up. There is hope. Uh, there is always hope. Uh, have good supportive people around you. I mean, I live by myself, so a bit like Sonia did, so it's a, it can be a bit hard, but I've developed a good network of friends to that when I uh, at times do get ill, I can lean on them and uh, have a good supportive network around me. Uh, mm. And I've learned to do that. And obviously I'm Christian myself, so a relationship with God definitely helps. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. Fantastic. Thank you, Rich. You got anything else you would like to tell people? No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, thank you. thank you so much for joining us. And um, last but not uh, not least, I would like to invite my husband to the camera. Um, so uh, this is Reggie, everyone. Obviously, you all know Hello. that this is my husband. Um, say hi to the Instagram viewers. Hi, Instagram. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. <laughs> Just so everyone knows that we're married on my way. Okay, so Reggie, um, how long have we known each other? We've known each other since um, since 2014. Yeah, so that's, yeah. that's like six years now, isn't it? Yeah, that's um, right. And then obviously, so if you want to hear our, our dating story, our love story, our... Uh, and it's on various blogs, or some of it is on various blogs. Um, you know, follow our Angela and Reggie page, and you'll be able to read a little bit more about how we got together and all of that. Um, but uh, Reggie, so um, we've known each other quite a while, haven't we? Yeah. Uh, how have you ever struggled with your mental health? Uh, yes, I mean, um, I struggled with my mental health since I was um, well, since I was a little kid. Uh, my mom died when I was three. Um, in that I've kind of, you know, um, developed extreme mental health issues. Um, I struggled with, uh, obviously anxiety, depression, um, suicidal thoughts. Um, I, at one point later on in my life, I had voices in my head that tormented me. And, um, and, and basically I, in, at that moment, I almost, you know, took my own life. Um, obviously I'm a Christian too. Um, so, so if it wasn't, if it wasn't for God and my, 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 my Christian faith, um, I, I would have not been here anymore. Uh, I would have probably already been, uh, under the ground in, uh, in a, in a casket. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, that's, that's how far gone I was with, with my mental health issues. So, yeah. Um, and how has, and obviously we're talking about creative arts here. How has creative art helped you? Has it helped you in any way? It's helped me. Uh, when I was younger, um, obviously, I got into rapping, um, hip hop. Uh, so I started to write my music, started to write my feelings down and things that I, str that I was struggling with. Um, so, yeah, so that's how, that's how I was able to share my feelings and share how, you know, kind of put... I guess put my life on, uh, I guess on on the altar and be like, okay, you know, this is me, uh, this is what I'm going through, um, but this is how I overcame it, and this is how Jesus can do it for you. Wow. Sorry, God. So 
Um, okay, yeah, so amazing. So it's almost it. So what I'm learning from tonight is it's all about getting it out of your system. Yeah, it's all about so whether your expression is dance, whether your expression is painting, drawing, um, rapping, poetry, uh, drama, music, it's all about just getting it out because the issue is when we keep our feelings inside they turn sour and they turn our inside sour um and, and I, you know that's when things can go can go really bad and that's mm. when um it, it can all, almost like the the thoughts and the feelings can, can pollute our minds yeah um and then um it can get it can get really bad and it can almost like you know put us in a bit of a prison but um Obviously, you know, we have our relationship with God, but um, but just using like, so for one of the things I do is I journal, and I know you you journal a bit, yeah. and I taught you. Journal, yeah, that's yeah, right. Yeah. That's um, right. So I, I, I do a lot of writing. I, I do a lot of blogging and, and journaling, and it's just about get processing what's happening and, and just getting it out. And so getting my feelings out and just getting my emotions out and, um, so those things are really are really important, and so we can do those through painting, we can do those through writing, through journaling, um, through through all sorts of things. So, so did that writing, music, and rapping and stuff? Did that help you? Yes, it definitely did. It definitely oh, and did. so what? How did it help you? Um, how did it help me? I was um, well. It's helped me to just be able to just share my feelings and put my, you know, my feelings out there mm -hmm. and, um, you know, just, you know, just do uh, what's, um... oh, Dave is asking. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, okay. Well, we'll, we'll uh, yeah it's been that. a, it's been a, it's been a great time and uh, I'm just very blessed that, um, yeah, that I was able to just share my feelings and be able to just, forget about the past yeah in that sense I, I i just wanted to write off me and just forget about the past yeah yeah uh, yeah that's right yeah channeling into something positive and creative um that's what that's what it's all about um yeah great all right so um thanks for that reggie and you know actually do you know, tell us about um because you actually did painting didn't you do you remember yeah i at, think at, so when you were at that um I don't know you you were in holland and you did some kind of like painting you actually sent it me do you remember oh yeah it could be yeah what you did like creative stuff at that i can't remember what it was called but some place you went to there. yeah um yeah, so yeah. tell me about that uh well as i said i'm not really uh creative with a with, with a paintbrush but, but uh, I, I i have tried it and i guess it went well <laughs> yeah well, how did it make you feel like i guess it was fun just working with paint exactly. and then just you know paint what you want yeah exactly yeah so it doesn't like we've been saying it doesn't have to be you don't have to be able to really like sell it in the tate um but it's just about you getting some color on it and making yourself did it make yourself feel better it did, it did. It definitely did well, unfortunately i was not very gracious and uh when uh when he showed me what he'd done Oh, I was not very gracious at all. I, I, I was uh, like, oh, uh, he wanted me to put it on my wall. And it was when we were first dating and I was like, because at the end of the day, I, this is terrible, right? So obviously, um, you know, I, I'm saying like, you know, have a go, um, just get paint to cans or paint to cardboard. <laughs> when it came to Reggie, I was like, oh, that's not very good. Is it? I'm like, I don't know if I can put that on my wall. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but uh but it is somewhere and you know maybe we'll frame it one day i'll have to find it and uh, what i've said is we're gonna we're gonna do it again and we're gonna um kind of put something into it and make it and make it beautiful yeah. but actually here's the point it doesn't have to be um beautiful because let's face it our emotions and our feelings are not always beautiful um they are messy and the thing with paint is it is messy too. And, and that's okay. You know, our lives, there are times when our lives are a mess and we can just express that through, through paint. Yeah. 
um, or through through whatever really. And like I said, it doesn't have to be presentable. Uh, that's that's my point. It doesn't have to be presentable. Um, eventually, um, it it could be. Uh, okay, well, so it looks like you've already um, read my my notes. You tell me later. All right, so um, yes, Reggie, I hear you are writing a book. Yes, that's right. <laughs> that's very right. Tell us about that. Um, yeah, so so uh, um, a while ago, I just really sensed I needed to write my journey down in a book. Um, especially my uh, my journey through um, through mental health, how um, the journey through mental health issues, extreme mental health issues, how it all began, just kind of my journey of of what has have been kind of some you know some triggers that have triggered my mental health issues, and um, and how I've overcome my mental health issues as well. Um, so I hope that well the plan is my to publish my book. Um, at the end of 2021 uh, to publish it maybe around Christmas. Um, so I got to get writing. I'm only, I'm only halfway through chapter four um, of my book and it's about eight chapters. Eight chapters. Um, so I need to continue writing. It's going to be great. I mean, it's going to be very honest. Um, just my honest journey of how I struggled with mental health most of my life up until now. Um, I recently got off my medication. I'm completely free from meds. And um, it, again, I say, if it wasn't for my Christian faith, I would have probably still been on medication. And uh, and and also, without the support of a support network of of a church, um, of um, or um, or the support network of um, obviously my, my my lovely wife here and uh, my friends uh, that are here too. Um, and counselling, I, I would have not probably not been able to make it. Um, so yeah, I'm I'm just really thankful. Um, uh, so yeah, so 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 yeah, I'm excited for my book. It's called Identity Crisis: A Journey to Real Freedom, uh, in which I also share how we can actually get free from mental health issues, uh, at, at least you know, not let mental health issues control our lives. Um, so, uh, so yeah. Amazing. Yeah, I'm excited about this this book coming out, and um, I'm going to be. Um, I hear that I'm going to be creating the cover for it. Yes, and I've <laughs> asked my lovely wife to uh, obviously write a chapter in my book as well about how she views obviously mental, uh, being married to someone that has a mental health history, and uh, and how it is as a obviously as a as a wife to to journey with with a husband that has been through that um you know obviously at the beginning of our journey when we first started dating um i had a difficult time and um yeah so angela will be i guess sharing vulnerably uh, vulnerably about um book uh, about you know being married to me and and you know going through this uh through this journey with me so i'm very excited to have my lovely wife write a chapter uh, maybe I'll consider asking somebody else to, to maybe write one as well who's been journeying with me through the journey in the time that um, in the time that, I'm, that I was here in England. Um, so might be reaching out to maybe some of you that are watching, um, <laughs> especially especially the lady that has just come on. Um, but yeah, um, so yeah, it's just incredible. Um, yeah, yeah. So uh, what advice have you got to people who um, who struggle with their mental health currently um, today? What advice have you got? Stay positive. I know it's difficult, but stay positive. Also uh, know that Jesus loves you. <laughs> and um, I, I know, sorry, I might, you know, Angela might be doing this live talking also to lots of other people, but if, if you don't know Jesus, you know, then I would encourage you to because he is actually the one that has helped me get from my mental health issues and and be completely free from it and um and and just have a stable life you can have a stable life i i, I just want to tell you now make a stable mental health issues definitely do, doesn't have to be permanent yeah um you can overcome it and you can fight it 
and um, a better way to fight it is to fight it with Jesus. And coming back to the whole idea of art, yeah. how can people art. use art as a tool? Um, well, art is a way of just, you know, being able to share your feelings. So, so art is a tool to, um, to, to, to kind of yeah, put your feelings out there and uh, just paint, paint things that you see, like, like, it's the same as what I did, writing off me and write raps and uh, raps, uh, rapping, write lyrics to, to inspire others, yeah. to um, aspire hope and future. And, um, you know, also I want to say dream, dream, because if you don't have a purpose, if you don't dream, yes, that's when you go into like all these mental health stuff. Um, you've got to dream. Yeah, you've got to believe that you have a purpose. You've got to believe that you're worth it. You've got to believe that you're accepted. And, and that has helped me to overcome, mm. yeah. As well as a support structure. Oh, well, no, yeah. we're still here. Yeah, uh, we're still here. Support structure. Yeah, yeah, also support structure. Uh, get a support structure. Don't leave it to yourself. Don't leave it until it's too late. Start talking to people. Yeah. If you want to reach out to Angela or me or to anybody that has been on today, um, you know, reach out. Um, we can't do it alone. We can't go through this journey of mental health issues alone. We need each other, but also um, we we can't we can't hide behind our mental health issues. That's never. Right, yeah. I would just want to say we can never hide behind our mental health issues. You can overcome it. Yeah. And it's defeatable. Yeah. You just got to have the right people behind you. You just got to have the right you know mindset. And, um, and again, I say, Jesus, you need a relationship <laughs> with Jesus if you don't have it. And if you want to find out more of that, about that, go over to our HRM page, either the church page or the Hope Release Ministries page, and you'll find out um, more, about, more about Jesus. Um, so, yeah, so I just want to say that, obviously, Reggie was saying it is defeatable and you can overcome and um you know you can get through i think garth obviously reggie is an example of that but also garth is an example of being able to overcome absolutely anything um Man. that you know it's been it was inc it's incredible what he has achieved um and in a way as well what my what my hubby has achieved um because you know it's right that you were told you'd never get married yeah you'd never have a job god is good you never have a business and yet today you have a business, you have a job, and we're on some successful other stuff. You have a wife. Yeah, and I have a lovely wife. <laughs> um, okay, we're gonna round up in a sec because obviously it's past um you promote yourself. Yeah. So uh it's great to be with you all. Oh yes, Bless thank you, you Reggie. <laughs> a little applause for, for Reggie, Garth, Sonia, and Richard, all my guests today. Thank you so Ooh. much for for coming on i really i hope you guys have enjoyed this i've actually really enjoyed having this having this conversation um we're going to do this i think next month and probably maybe around the same time and we'll have some different guests i know there's some guests on um on is not guests but people watching on instagram and some of them know that i've had a chat with them about this so hopefully um we'll be able to have some more interviews with some more artists um Okay, so Dave talked about workshop. Well, um, I am, um, so uh, one of the things that I have felt that is important to tackle as Art Antics is the whole area of mental health. And that's why we're having this discussion tonight about uh, mental health and arts, because I do truly believe that it can make a difference. And so, uh, we at Art Antics are going to be running what I'm going to call Come Paint With Me. Um, so I'm going to be running an art live where I'm going to invite people um, to join me on Zoom. Um, and uh, we, might, we might put it as a, as a Facebook live, but we'll see. Um, but um, definitely on Zoom. And basically, we're going to paint together. We're going to paint together. We're going to play together. Um, this isn't going to be um, any kind of like, it's not going to be particularly teaching if you want me to give you a few pointers of how to do this and how to do that, but it's going to be more um, enjoying it together, enjoying painting together, enjoying drawing together. So I'm going to encourage everybody to bring their 
their canvas, their paints, their cardboard, their pencils, their pens, um, and we're just gonna we're just gonna create together, uh, and that's gonna be every Friday uh, night in June. So from the fourth of June, from six till seven, um, all the way through till the I think it's the four second of July. Yes, the second of July, um, and then there'll be something coming after that uh, as well. Um, but these sessions, these come paint with me sessions are going to be absolutely free and we're just going to enjoy creating together. Uh, we're going to have, um, you know, we're going to we're going to maybe have chats and we're going to um, talk together and we're going to share together as we paint or we create. Uh, we're going to drink coffee together um, and, you know, get to know each other. Um, so I only have 100 spots. So, um, and I imagine there's some people watching tonight who would like to be part of that. Um, I want to encourage, particularly those who have do, um, have a tendency to uh, struggle with their mental health to uh, jump on this, on this Zoom. Uh, because as you've heard tonight, um, creating and just getting it out of you is a really good way um, to tackle it. So obviously this, um, this campaign with me is twofold. Um, you're going to be able to get to create, to paint, um, or or draw, or collage, um, or, or whatever. And you know, even we might, you know, I might those who want to write, um, that's that's grand as too. You can you can jump on the call. So we're, we're in community as well, um, which is obviously really important. And so for the time being, these are going to be um, on obviously Zoom. Um, but you know, this might be something that I'll be running uh, in real time as well. So to work out how to do that as well. I know I've talked to my friend Cheryl, who's also an artist, been on my Instagram too. Um, and um, we we'll maybe see if we can do something in actual real time. Um, but a lot of us are from all over the country. Like I know on Instagram, I've got friends who are in London, um, friends are in Manchester, friends are in Sheffield. Uh, we've got St. Helens on here, or we've had St. Helens on here, we've got Bournemouth, and um, so people who have been been on during this live, so from all over the place, from where? That's Sheffield, isn't it Sheffield? Yeah, so, um, so we've got people from all over the place, so this is Art a really retreat. good, right, okay. They're saying art retreat maybe? Uh, yeah, that's a great idea. I, I, we're going to chat more, Dave, I think you're going to be able to really uh, help things develop um, an art trip retreat would be fantastic. Um, but we're going to start, we've got to start somewhere, haven't we? So we're going to start with this hour on a Friday evening from six till seven. And we're just going to enjoy creating for a month together. And then I'll be sharing with you um, what's happening um, after that, because we're going to build towards, um, towards something. Um, so yeah, very excited about that. I'm going to be putting uh, those events on Facebook very soon. So I want to say, um, share this video, um, comment, let's, let's uh, blow up Instagram and Facebook with this subject and let's get people on this come paint with me. Um, seriously, for those, for those that do, um, oh, I'm buffering, uh, for those that, that do uh, or can or have struggled with their mental health, it, it's going to be really, it's going to be really helpful. And, you know, we can carry on that discussion. Um, you know, we're in this together. We can fight this together. It's, this is all about um, creating family. Um, and I think isolation is one of the, one of the things that really, um, it can really either create issues of mental health with people mm -hmm. or it can at least hint, make it worse. Um, so let's create community uh, and let's create um, together. All right, I think that's, has anybody got any more, any questions um, in the comments uh, before we go? Does anybody? I've enjoyed it, Angela. Oh, that's excellent, um, Georgina. I hope that you'll be part of the, um, part of our campaign with me. Uh, yeah, I will be, yeah. Fantastic, fantastic. Because and I paint lots of canvases, I do. Lovely, lovely. I like painting canvases. Yeah, me too, me too. I did, I did three the other night, left them to dry overnight, put designs on the next day. Oh, wow. Well, I look forward to seeing some more of your creations. I know that we've got one in our in our house, so we're very grateful for that. Thank you. Um, 
Yeah. Okay. So yes, before I go, my husband has, this is obviously not art antics, but as I am part of several things. Um, so uh, for as Hope Release Ministries tomorrow and HRM Church, we're running a Pentecost. Um, this is a commercial break, isn't it? A Pentecost uh, fair party. Uh, it's going to be on Zoom. It may actually be on live as well. But if you want to be part of the games and the quiz, then you'll need to be, and the karaoke, uh, run by our very own Garth. Uh, then you'll need to be um, on Zoom tomorrow. Um, so this, we want this to, to be open to everybody. I mean, at the end of the day, our church as well is open to everybody. And Art Antics is open to everybody too. But um, but yes, tomorrow is an opportunity to- What time, uh, Angela? What time? It's going to be three till five tomorrow. Mm. So three till five tomorrow. Obviously, that's not Art Antics. That is something different. Um, send me the link please we will send you the link yes um okay um so anybody got thank you for those that contributions georgina thank you sonia thank you richard thank you garth thank You're you welcome. reggie You're welcome. um so we'll be back i think on the well, let me just check um the date that we're back uh because Bear with me a second. I don't know if we've got any more questions from anyone else or any more comments. Uh, okay, so I'm aiming for us to be back on the 26th. Are we back? Are we back from... Uh, yeah, so we're aiming to be back on the 26th and we'll do another um, show like this and we'll have another one or two um, special guests and I'll be sharing about what I've been doing in the last... In the last month, hopefully there will be some stuff. I'm sure I haven't shared everything that I've been doing. Um, but uh, okay, yeah, we'll send you the link, Dave. Um, awesome. Um, so so finally, thank you everybody for joining in this evening. It's been a uh, thank you, Dave. Thank you, Odette. Thank you, Dave Pennington, uh, Miriam. Um, let's see who else we've got on here. Beth, Fiona, um, Sharon. Uh, thank you so much, everybody, for joining us. Uh, finally, I just want to say, please like this video, love it, share it. Let's get uh, the message out. Um, I'm going to be putting on um, about, um, what do you call it? <laughs> about the Come Paint With Me uh, that will be happening from the 4th of June to the 2nd of July. Um, so please spread the word, get as many people on that on that call as we can, and let's build community um, and let's combat mental health with creativity and art. Okay, that's me for tonight. Um, it's been great. I've really enjoyed it. And thank you so much, everybody, for, um, for watching. And um, thank you, everyone, for who's going to watch this after this time now as well. Um, <laughs> good night, everybody. Good night and God bless. Bye, Instagram world. We love you. Um, I will see you all soon. Take care. It stopped now. I was trying to put you five some sound effects here. Actually.